All right, everybody, Bryce here coming at you with another real quick crypto market update. Uh, guys, Bitcoin is going on its 11th week of down only. Um, what I mean is that every weekly candle for the past 11 weeks has closed basically lower than it opened. And so what that means is we're in a very bearish trend. Um, it means that the market hasn't been able to find substantial buyers. Um, this is actually the first time in Bitcoin's history that we have had, I mean, even uh, even eight weekly closes in a row. That was the previous record. Now, if we close this week below $29,450, that will mark the 11th week in a row. And this is important because it just goes to show the breadth and the depth of this selling that we're seeing right now. Um, this Q2, right, the second quarter, has been the worst quarter on record for stocks and bonds. The entire market is getting thrashed. And this is probably not a huge bunch of news to you guys, right? I mean, I think everybody's kind of feeling it right now. But what goes down must come up, okay? And that's a very, very important concept. Um, it's called mean reversion or kind of a reversion to the average. And right now, Bitcoin is so below its moving averages, its relevant moving averages, it's 200 day, it's 50 day, um, that I think that we could absolutely see a retest of those key moving averages. But, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a conundrum because the... Uh, what, what I'm expecting is a little bit of what's called a dead cat bounce. Have you guys heard this term, a dead cat bounce? It basically means that the market has turned over, okay? And the market has gone from a very, very strong bull market to now a, a more bearish market, right? Where the Federal Reserve is withdrawing liquidity from the market, right? Te uh, on paper, the Federal Reserve is historically the largest buyer of assets, right? Um, and they, they tend to, uh, you know, bring assets onto their balance sheet, which increases the money supply. You know, they're loaning money out. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. They are withdrawing uh, basically capital from the market. They're, they're cashing in their chips in order to tame inflation. And what this is called, uh, this is called uh, quantitative tightening, right? And they are uh, rolling assets off their balance sheet. And they are actually withdrawing a million dollars of liquidity from the market a minute. That's the vacuum sound that you hear, right? The <laughs> it's kind of a joke, but at the, at the end of the day, you know, the, with, when you, you don't want to fight the Fed, right? And the Fed has been signaling very strongly that they're going to continue this behavior, right? The beatings shall continue until morale improves. That's kind of what they're signaling. They're not showing that they're going to be stepping off the gas anytime soon. And that, that puts the crypto market in a little, bit of a little bit of a conundrum, a little bit of an armpit, if you will. And, you know, on, on, the, short, uh, on the short term time frames, I really do think the market is primed for a little bit of a bounce. But you don't want to get suckered in to buying after the rally, right? Buying after the bounce. Um, because it's probably going to, you know, sell back off. And so, you know, I, I, I kind of think that, you know, one of the messages I want to want to send to everyone is that, you know, it, it has been very, very bloody in the markets on a short term time scale. Right. And there is a ton of fear. If you look at the fear and greed indexes, everything is off the charts. Right. The VIX is sky high, but it's not going to be forever. And it, this, too, shall pass. And I think the most important thing anybody could be doing right now is continuing to research, right? Continuing to find the coins that have fundamental value. And in fact, where I'm looking, uh, you know, part of, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of belief that I have in crypto is that it will be a vehicle uh, to bring financial freedom and bring finance to areas that are currently, um, you know, unbanked. Right. And so what does that mean? So there's some awesome protocols that are currently active right now. Uh, in fact, Genesis, which is the largest industry 
uh, you know, loan originator. They originated $131 billion of crypto backed loans. Um, Genesis just partnered with a, with a huge, what's called a real world assets platform. And these real world assets, RWA, this is a theme that I'm getting very, very, very interested in and invested in. And what some of these platforms do is that they originate loans to um, folks in emerging markets that couldn't uh, you know, generally get loans from their local banks for one reason or another. And you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit higher risk loans, but the, the concept is fascinating to me that there are these platforms out there that exist that are now like what, you know, kind of like neo banks is what I'll call them. They're just a new kind of banking model. And this is what crypto and DeFi facilitates. And despite the high price or despite the low price, you understand? And so fundamentals are only getting stronger, right? There's only more adoption and growth of these assets in the long term. Now, in the short term, sure, there's all these price fluctuations. People get scared out. But guess what? We're not going anywhere, okay? This is the period, this is the time when you have to sack up, when you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, what do you believe in and why are you here, okay? And for me, I'm here because I know that crypto is the tool for billions of people to have financial freedom from the repression of you know, authoritarian regimes and just the oppression of the system. And crypto really does not change with a higher price or with a lower price. The principles stay the same. And so you guys are all here in crypto, you know, whether you're down on your investments or whether you're still up on your investments, you're here for a very particular reason. I don't want you to forget why you came here. Okay. I don't want you to forget the, uh, the, the belief and the conviction that first got you interested in crypto. And, and for me, right, I'm really convicted in the fact that, you know, these emerging markets really do need financing and they do need uh, wallets and, um, and, and, you know, an alternative cash system. And that's what I think is one of the most compelling use cases. I do think that Bitcoin as this, you know, decentralized censorship resistant permissionless money system that never has gone down, right? Like Solana, by the way, you know, it just turned off the other day. It, it completely uh, went down. You know, Bitcoin is that form of money that is unstoppable. And I believe in that. And so you need to really think about what you believe in and why you're here and continue researching and continue investing in that because if you've been buying on the way up, you need to continue buying on the way down. It's a, it's a simple concept. Um, you know, if you stop buying on the way down, you, you, you continue to lose your dollar cost average and you get a, uh, you know, you, you have a really high cost basis and uh, you wanna continue to lower your cost basis. Again, on the, on the kind of fundamental plays and the fundamental coins that you're bullish on, whether these are coins that have cash flows and governance rights attached to them, um, or whether they're tokens that, uh, that are, you know, really compelling use cases in, in an industry that you may be really familiar with and really interested in. So don't lose faith during this bearish period, okay? Because nothing's changed about crypto. All that's changed is the Federal Reserve's stance on monetary policy. And they've decided that inflation has gotten too out of control for many reasons that have all compounded, right? We have Putin, we had COVID with the money printing, and we've got all sorts of complications on the supply chain. But don't let that shake your belief in where crypto is going and what crypto is, okay? And that's a very important thing because a lot of people are gonna psych themselves out. They're gonna say, man, this stuff's broken. This stuff doesn't work. Prices are only going down and they're only gonna go down forever. And let me tell you, I've been through a couple bear markets and it's not true that prices go down forever, right? It's also not true prices go up forever. And so take it with a grain of salt. I know it's really hard to see that we could ever possibly have, you know, another bull market. I think a lot of people are saying, is crypto dead forever? And they're asking themselves, they're asking people that are experts and that they respect, but it's not dead forever. And we're just going through a period where we're contracting liquidity 
and we're washing out a lot of the excess, the speculative excess, the irrational exuberance that was present in the market. And at the end of the day, this period is cleansing and it allow you to become a better investor and a better person, right? So don't lose hope, don't lose faith, guys. It's all gonna be okay. It's gonna get better. Again, 11 weeks of straight down. I mean, that trend has to run out of steam here at some point, a little bit of a reprieve. And 30K has been a pretty strong support. But again, I've got my eye on that 29,450 mark for Bitcoin because that's gonna be a key zone. Key zone that bulls are gonna try to defend. And if they can defend that, and we could get a green weekly candle, we might have a glimmer of hope. So that's my market update and happy trading. But guys, first, if you're not already subscribed to a service where you could get trade alerts in a community of over 10,000 crypto investors and traders, but you're interested in that, well, guess what? You should come and join Crypt Nation, okay? Where we give fundamental analysis, technical research, all sorts of great stuff on the crypto market, on the DeFi market. And guess what? You could subscribe today for two week trial, okay? Two week trial and it's just $1. So all you have to do is hit that orange button below you and you can come and see what's cooking underneath the hood, okay? It's an awesome group. We have a ton of fun. We learn a lot. And guys, it's now more important than ever to make sure that you guys are prepared to weather the storm, okay? Now again, it's a two week trial. It's just $1 and you can come and see everything that we have to offer. All right, happy trading.